hello guys i welcome you all to engineers academy now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the volume of the silo which consists of a cylinder and a hemispherical cape neglect the thickness of the plate so we are given uh, this silo which has a height of 80 feet and its top is made up of a is a hemisphere hemispherical cape and this part of the silo is uh, cylinder and we are required to find the volume right so we are required to determine the volume of this silo and we are uh, required to neglect the thickness of the plates so if i draw the cross section so we will have the cross section like this and let's say that this is the z axis about which we will rotate uh, this cross section in order to get the volume so as i have explained the theorem of Pappus and Goldiness, so we will use that to find the volume. So as we know that the volume, uh, since it's a composite shape, it consists of a hemispherical cape and uh, or we can say that uh, this cross section is consisting of uh, a quarter circle, quarter circular area and a rectangular area. So we will use this formula for the composite shape or composite area. So the volume will be equal to theta and the summation of the r bar times l uh, uh, in case of volume this will not be l this will be area right so this will be r bar times the area of each segment so now we have to develop a table right so we have to write segment number then we will find segment area then we will find the look location of the centroid of each area from the axis of rotation so that will be r bar and similarly we will uh, take the product of r bar and area so now this cross section can be divided into two segments one segment could be uh, this quarter circle and one segment could be this rectangle so now the uh, centroid of this quarter circle uh is somewhere here right and from table we can read that so from table is we can see that the centroid of a quarter circle is at a distance of 4r divided by 3 pi and from here it is 4r divided by 3 pi so we can say that this distance from here to here this distance this is the r bar of the centroid the perpendicular distance of the centroid of this quarter circle from the axis of rotation is this r bar or we can say r bar 1 and from that we can write that r 1 bar is 4 r divided by 3 pi from that table and the radius for this is this is 10 feet this is given right so this is 10 feet so the radius is 10 feet or we can say that this width of this rectangular portion is 10 feet right so this is 4 into 10 divided by 3 pi so this is our one bar so this is our segment one its area will be so from that table we can find the area of a quarter circle which is pi r square divided by 4 since we know that the area of a complete circle is pi r square so it is one fourth of a circle so that is pi r square divided by 4 and this is the uh, perpendicular distance of the centroid of this segment one from the axis of rotation since we will rotate it about this z axis so that is 4 into 10 divided by 3 pi so that is 40 divided by 3 pi and now we have to take the product of this so we can write that this is 40 divided by 3 pi and we know the radius right so the radius is 10 here as well so i will write instead of r square i will write 10 square so this is 40 divided by 3 pi into pi into 10 square divided by 4. So this will cancel out and 4 into 10 is 40. So we are left with 10 into 10 square. So that is 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 3. So 10 raised to the power 3. So this is 1000 divided by 3. And similarly for segment 2, the area is 10 into its height, the height is 80, so 10 into 80 is 800 and its centroid will be somewhere here at its geometric center, this is C2 
and this will be its r bar let's say this is r bar 2 the perpendicular distance of the centroid of segment 2 from the axis of rotation is r bar 2 and this will be the half of this 10 feet right so this is 5 feet so i will write that this is 5 and when we multiply this so 5 5 into 8 is 40 so this is 4000 and now if we uh, want to apply this formula so we need to add up this r into a product right so the summation of r into a will be equal to this 1000 divided by 3 plus this 800 let me write this is uh, 5 into 800 so that you people can understand it so this is 5 into 100 right so this is we can find this this is uh, 1000 divided by 3 plus 5 into 800 so this is 430 4333.33 and this is the uh, the second theorem of Pappus and Goldinus for finding the volume so the volume is equal to and theta will be if you want to have this silo so we we, we need to rotate this cross section for 360 degrees for one complete revolution and 360 degrees in radian is 2 pi radian so theta is 2 pi and this this we know this is equal to 4333.33 this is theta angle and this is the summation of r bar times a so now we will multiply this answer answer multiply by 2 pi so that gives us the total volume of this silo which is 27,227 approximately 27,227 and the units will be in feet cube.